Anyways, there's no work yet. Nothing's written up, but golly. The fake GT4 made it to work. Oof. Whoops. Where's that from? Oh, crap. Oh, well. I'll just shove it back in there. Worry about it another day. But she's here. She's at work. Um, I was checking my air fuel ratio. I wasn't going anything past 15.5 at times. But it stayed around 14.7 like how it's supposed to. But yeah, dude, fucking work sucks right now. Anyone in the in the dealer industry has technicians. How's um how are you guys doing right now? Because we're doing really bad. Like two cars and like there's only four of us here today. And there's like eleven stalls. That's crazy, yo. That's crazy. People aren't making their hours. I'm not making hours. I'm I'm only averaging like 30, 32. And these are gonna get knocked out real quick, maybe within like half an hour. Cause I think this one's a software update recall, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check right now, but just work sucks right now, yo. So we're doing a little bit of preparation before I put the vehicle on alignment. Um, setting the tire pressure to 32 psi on all four corners. Ended up balancing this wheel. It was a, it was off by a lot. Um, I ended up removing the wheel well liner. I guess you want to call it that. Um, it's right here. It was all torn up, you can see. And I actually saw eBay. They actually sell these brand new. Yeah, they're reproduction, but they sell them brand new. And I'm going to be buying them. And once I finish painting the whole car white, I'm going to go ahead and install them. I don't plan on slamming the crap out of this car. It is going to be a fun car. I don't want to be stuck on driveways, but... This should be fine like this. I zip tied everything over here so it won't come over here to the tire and start scraping stuff off. This is how I run my 7th gen Celica. It should be fine. I've driven my 7th gen like this for multiple years and I don't see an issue with the Celica since this one's a bit higher and it's on springs, not coilovers like my Celica. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same on the driver's side. I'm gonna put a little zip tie right here to hold the side skirt in place. And we're going to end up removing this wheel well liner, balancing the wheel, and go from there. So, let's go ahead and do that. One of the amazing perks of working at a dealership and a shop is using their tools or their equipment. Um, tire, tire machine and a balancer. So, we're going to get our fin right here, get this in here situated, and then just strap it on. and then we're gonna remove all the old wheel weights there's a couple right here so we're gonna remove these and are there is there any on the inside I don't see any on the inside just on the outside so we're gonna go ahead and remove them with the chisel and just, just go like that can't do it with one hand so once you already made sure you got your dimensions right this is a 16 inch wheel um, we're gonna go ahead and lower it and it should see it spin. then we're gonna see right here what we need to put so 55 grams, one of these right here is 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove one, put it in the pile and apply that. Gonna use some brake clean to clean up the area and apply the new wheel weights. So there you have it, 55 grams. And that's what it's calling for. Press start and it's right there. So let's just lower it, watch the wheel spin. And it should zero out. Okay, so I guess we gotta add a little bit more. Um, we're gonna put it right here, uh, 20 grams. So let's go right here, 20 grams. I'm gonna apply it right here. So there you go, 20 gram. Let's try again. Hopefully that solves it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Zeroed out, awesome. So now this wheel is balanced. Let's throw it back on. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and remove the wheel well liner my awesome tool, DeWalt DCF AA3. 
We're gonna remove the, t the couple 10 mils. There's one right here. There's one right there. There's a, there was one right there. And I believe there's another one right here. So let's go ahead and remove those. And just like that, we remove the wheel well liner. Um, this is just gonna be temporary. As I said, once I get the whole car painted and I buy new hardware and clips, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it. Um, I just put a zip tie right here just so that the side skirt doesn't flap around on the highway and it comes off. I will be in, I will be getting some different side skirts. Stay tuned for that. All right, torque these down, set the tire pressure at 32. So now we're gonna bring the car down. Damn, such a nice looking car. I don't know why people hate this car so much. So you can see my front toe was way off. <laughs> that was because I installed a brand new power steering rack and I did the alignment and you can see right here, it's gone green. So it looks like we need to probably buy a camber kit. Look at that camber on the right side's a little funky. So we're gonna buy some camber bolts and I didn't have the tool to do the rear um, toe. I needed a 22 millimeter wrench. So I'm probably gonna do the, the rear on another day, but I just wanted to do the front because I installed a brand new power steering rack and I wanna make sure I don't go through the tires instantly fast. So that's gonna be it for now. Celica is at my house now. It was at my friend's house. Um, we were doing the whole swap at his place, but um, it's somewhat drivable now. Um, we're having right now a minor issue with, or I guess if you want to call it minor, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we're having a somewhat slight issue with fifth gear. Um, it's not engaging properly. Um, that we're gonna have to figure that out hopefully soon, maybe after I get the vehicle barred. Um, but right now I'm driving the vehicle to set the monitors um, and I'm going to start working on the Celica here, like little things. I got to get the tachometer working, the RPM, um, tidy up the interior, fix up the wiring mess, um, just make it look neat, you know, and we're going to go from there. Um, I'm not the vehicles here at my house. I'm going to start working on it a bit more and just throw out the content um looks like a lot of people like the the six gen celica content we gotta do a lot of body work on that car a lot but um i'm gonna try and mix up the the content a couple of you guys want seventh gen content i've been kind of dry on it but i will be uploading um the red content from the red celica my customer is gonna pick up the vehicle soon so i had to do brakes on his car and i still gotta do axle seals on my Celica, my personal one, the turquoise. I gotta do left and right axle seals and probably drain and refill the ATF. Um, and Corolla, Willwood brakes, and uh, Tokiko shocks. But videos for another day. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go have dinner because I am tired from work. <laughs> See you guys.